Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Belly update. So my belly feels better. <laughs> I don't have a fever anymore, but I still have like the exhaustion and I've had a headache all night. Yuck. But we're getting better. I work from home. I'll probably go back to the office tomorrow. But you did not go to the doctor. I did not go to the doctor since I, I sweated out the fever. Yeah. And Hopefully I didn't it was get just like a 24 hour thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, update on me. Still resting. Need to take a shower. <laughs> Update on the pup, since I was feeling grimy and gross because I sleep, slept here last night and was sweating all night, I was like, you know what, we need to open up the windows, and Eve loves that because she can stalk her prey with the window cracked just enough so she doesn't push through. Alright, so, plan for the evening is just to rest, but unfortunately, since we did not go grocery shopping over the weekend, I, even though I still don't feel good but sometimes especially when you're a grown-up you gotta do what you gotta do even if you're sick you know things don't just happen stop happening so I'm gonna go grocery shopping but first I'm gonna make Sarah a piece of avocado toast because avocado is good full of those proteins and fats that she needs to be eating Eve hears the bread so of course she's coming to run and probably bark my face off but first I'm gonna make this avocado toast for Sarah Alright, super simple recipe. We have some tahini, some wacky... I did this in yesterday's vlog. Did you? Yeah. Oh, well. Sorry you saw it in yesterday's vlog. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, check it out. Uh, we do daily vlog every day, so... But, I'm going to use this cool bowl, and this cool bowl will have a reference later on in the vlog. So, Sarah's got to keep this shot in the vlog. Do you want to hear the epitome of Orlando traffic and driving? There are about five Aldi's within a 20 to 40 mile range of where we live and they all currently say about 27 minutes how does that make sense they're all in different directions ranging from 20 to 35 miles away and they're all 27 minutes i think my app is lying to me so i'm just going to put on some good music go to my favorite one or one i hope is done being refurbished and uh keep my fingers crossed I was nervous, my friends. I was real nervous. So this is uh, the one I chose to go to. This is one we went to shortly after we moved into Winter Park because it's through. Yeah, I got, we got a pat. We got to go through downtown Winter Park to go to this one. And last time we were here, it was the worst all the experience ever. They were in the middle of renovation or the beginning of renovation, but now it looks like it's complete. So I am pumped. I could have gone to a different one, but there's a reason why, and I'll show you when I'm done shopping why I wanted to go to this one. And it's strictly. For Sarah and selfish reasons, but I, I gotta stop some. I wanna stop. I plan on stopping somewhere. Can't talk. Plan on stopping somewhere after this, right on Park Avenue, right by Rollins, um, just to pick up something real quick, I think. But let's try to go knock this out on the next, like, I'm thinking like a 20 minute or less trip. Okay, the Aldi is back in a new prime. This is like a heavenly Aldi. Look how beautiful and fancy it is. I'm about halfway done, seven minutes in, we're looking good. I got everything but two things, so I'm going to make a pit stop at this cool store on the way home, but looking good. Alright, I think we went shopping here once, but I'm, this is just on the street from the Aldi Sprouts Farmer's Market. I need to get pineapple artichokes, and they actually could have a really good holistic medicine section, so I'm gonna see if Sarah's uh, prenatal is here. The first thing to greet me in the doorway is pineapples. Look how cool that was. But here is the whole market, food market. Everything by the pound, fresh produce, all the good stuff. All the rolled oats and barrels. I love it. Well, isn't this a nice surprise? On my way out, just grabbing those last few things. Buy one, get one free. Dairy-free ice cream. It was meant to be. Alright, I did not think I'd be leaving with ice cream and it's about 87 degrees outside so I have to make this last trip 
secret trip mission, Awesome Express, quick. All right, quick pit stop. You guys know we've been in the St. Patrick's Day vibes. Right now it's all about good mental health space for Sarah and myself, We're also relaxing. Also not being sick, but that's quickly passing. But there's a cool store called Rocket Fizz right on Park Avenue. I'm gonna pick up something that's a little piece of Chicago home, little piece of St. Patrick's Day, all the, well, if it's available, all that good stuff. Our buddy Sean, if you put his YouTube down below, check it out, he's awesome, especially doing some awesome content recently. Told us about this, but when we moved here, when we actually got to go here, it's even better. All the candy and all the pop. This is what I'm here for, the original Green River. I'm gonna grab two, I might grab four, I gotta see if there's a deal, but this is what I'm here for. Chicago's finest, the original, Green River. Funny story, the woman working said they just got this restocked and they haven't had it for months. And I told her, don't worry, the manufacturer is ramping up man production right now to get ready for St. Patrick's Day and dying the river green. Wow, it was, uh, Peter went shopping! He definitely went a little rogue off the quick grocery list, but... Okay, hey, you were up for it, yeah. But now it's later than expected. This was gonna be cooking dinner off of this, so <laughs> I have to snack because I'm so hungry. Yeah, we just did my shot, took my medication. You have this tonight, should I put them in the freezer? Sure. All right, so one piece of hoodoo hoodoo that we are gonna do, what is this about again? It's the core? It's the core helps implantation slash relieves inflammation. So I'm about to chop up this pineapple. Sarah's gonna eat all the core. But you're not supposed to like eat a lot of it. You're supposed to like basically chop it up and then into like five days worth of portions. From one core? From one core. Okay. Oh, you got two pineapple. Yeah. Pineapple's good for dinner too. Yeah. Alrighty, here are our quick burrito bowl components. This is a mixture of chili beans and black beans. I kept the hot chili sauce in, but drained the black beans. And then peppers, onions, and garlic. So I'm just letting these both slowly cook right now as the rice gets finished up, just brown rice. And then here are our other toppings, the rest of the avocado that Peter whipped up earlier. This vegan ranch, and fire roasted salsa from Aldi. So everything was super simple. I spiced up the peppers and onions with a little bit of chili powder, salt, pepper, garlic, um, and then the beans, I put in chili powder, garlic powder, paprika, a little bit of the, um, what is it called? Why can't I put my finger on it? What is the spice that you put on the avocado? Tahin. Oh, the tahini, yes. And the beans, and then the brown rice will just be plain. Um, and so yeah, we're gonna have leftovers for another day of dinner, but just super quick and simple and delicious and way cheaper than Chipotle. All right, as the dinner gets ready and we start resting, I'm gonna show a couple little pieces of magical mail we've gotten over the past week or so. I got a little thank you card here from Disney. Deborah, it was awesome meeting you in Animal Kingdom. We got a Peter Sarah Rookhart Christmas ornament. I kind of like it for all year round, but I'm sure we'll, we'll put it in the Christmas box and I can't wait to already bring that out next year. Sarah and I were just talking about Christmas the other day at Disney Springs. So thank you so much, we appreciate it. This next one is a little cultural here and it sparks up the flames. Ooh, Alexa, stop. Adds fuel to the fire for us wanting to travel and w once IVF is successful and this baby is born in October, we will go traveling the world. But some awesome guide maps from Angela and Matthew from Sydney, from Shanghai Disneyland, all the good, great things. And a little Christmas card as well. You guys know we love learning about where you're where you live, where you're going to visit, do brochures and everything. So thank you so much, we really appreciate it. And right here, we got a little Happy Buddha from Rachel, Billy, and Kayla. Thank you so much. I love that. I think I might bring that to my office. You guys know we love the Hoodoo Voodoo, but Sarah and I will have to discuss this. 
And this is just what a piece of art this is from Minori. Thank you so much. We always love chit chatting with you in all the different ways. But whoa. Decades that Chicago. Blew this blew our mind. I told Sarah, like, Sarah was like, immediately was like, this can go in the nursery. I'm like, this can go in the nursery. This can go in our living room one day. This can go in my office one day. Like, like we're going to have this forever. But it's got Sears Tower, Trump Tower, Hancock. This is the LaSalle building, which I worked three for three years. I worked right next door to this, the JW. It's got Navy, the, the Navy Pier, but what we really appreciate about this is it's not just a Ferris wheel. It's the actual pier. And you got Water Tower. And then there's the, the building that always says Gold Bowls on it back in the 90s. And I believe right back here, this actually right here section that also I think comes over here just to show the massive size of it. I believe that's the corner of the Merchandise Mart. So thank you so much. This is absolutely beautiful and incredible. And it's by an artist. Yes, Stephen Christ is the artist's name. So check out his website. It has a bun bunch of different merchandise clips and everything. I We need... We just got I our... I on our story about Green River. We just got our cruise insurance checks and we're supposed to go buy a MacBook, but part of me wants to like just go buy all the frames because we need like a million frames for all these beautiful things. Right? Oh my gosh. We could buy so much stuff for our apartment with that money. Right, if we did. But you really need that MacBook. I really do need a MacBook. Alrighty. Here are the finished products. They look really hefty. I think we also have some pineapple too, right Peter? All right, so we are watching the sequel to, to All the Boys I Love and Love. Sarah's dishing out some ice cream, trying to figure out which one she wants. Out of a triple <laughs> shot espresso or the cookie and mint. So we're huge sappy people. I love that sap life. So we're only like 20 minutes in this movie, and I forgot how much I love that high school love story life, even though it is so ridiculous at the same time. Like, I, like we grew up with like One Tree Hill. Yeah. And this is just a whole different level because of the new age. Ah! Yeah. But it is cool because it's like, oh, I saw in your story. Oh, I, like it is. It's funny because it's like. We didn't even have Instagram adult. when we did our college program. Right. But it is cool because we were like together in high school. So we also like share that experience. So we would have written letters to each other. We She's did so write angry. letters to each other. She's so in angry. tiny little notes. Today's quote is by Carl Jung. And. It is. I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Oh, that is a solid one for the books. Kids, remember that one. I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. I truly don't know how we got the cutest dog. But I feel like she's fake. Are you fake? Okay, so how was your night? We watched to All the Boys I Love Too, and then we watched another comedy special. Was it as funny as No. It's the same Eliza girl. But it was our first Netflix special, I think, so she's definitely got better over the years. I never ended up showering, <laughs> like I said in the very first clip, but limited activity. I think I'm going to work tomorrow. I think I feel good enough, too. I don't think I'm an issue. Today's vlog was shorter. Ooh, Sarah, you just put on Sarah in the back. Today's vlog, I think, was a bit shorter. Yeah. Um, but you guys know we're in bed rest, so. It's not bed rest. Limited, limited, limited activity. activity. Maybe we'll go to a resort. And hang out tomorrow? Maybe. Could be fun. Yeah, or the movies. Ooh, I love the movies. It's good, good to, to be, be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.